Now a story new tonight. Flooding is not a hazard typically associated with the military, yet it is one the Navy is facing in Hampton Roads. Tonight, the public got to weigh in on solutions to fix it. Ten of your sides, Gina Arevalo joins us now with what's being billed as a joint effort following a recent study. Gina? Yeah, Tom, that study looked at the effects of sea level rise and flooding on the area's infrastructure, but particularly how it impacts the military. The cities of Norfolk and Virginia Beach and the Navy are working together to find a solution, and there are some big ideas on the table. There's another threat on the U.S. Navy's radar, but it's not a foreign enemy. What we're focusing on is the impact that recurrent flooding, coastal flooding, is having on our military bases in those localities. The Hampton Roads Planning District Commission says there are over 200 miles of roadways that could be impacted by sea level rise and flooding. Some of the most critical areas are Hampton Boulevard, Shore Drive, and Sandbridge Road. When that happens and those roads become impacted, it's making it more and more difficult for our military personnel to get to the bases. To fix the problem, the commission wants to improve storm drains and build flood walls. Their study also proposes even bigger projects like raising sections of Hampton Boulevard. It's more than just raising and elevating the roadway itself. That presents, it's a very, they're very complicated. There's a lot of moving parts. So figuring out, kind of scoping out exactly what those projects would be. That's the next step we see for those to go in and do some of that, that engineering and design work. We've had um, storm surge that has been threatening, but we haven't been flooded yet. Jay Taylor is on board with the proposals. He lives near the Lafayette River, where installation of an outer surge barrier is being proposed. Well, it all looks like good ideas to me. Uh, it's going to be a matter of prioritizing. The worry, of course, is um, all this is going to cost an awful lot of money. Officials say there's not a price tag yet, but their next step is lobbying support in Richmond. This isn't just about the military. This is about our community, too. And if we're successful in addressing these projects, it's going to be a benefit to all. If you missed the public meeting tonight, there's another one tomorrow at the Sandler Center in Virginia Beach. You can also submit your comment online until Thursday. We'll have that information for you, plus a link to the draft study on our website at wavy.com. Gina Arevalo, Tid on your side.